We're back. back. Uh, what the uh, hell? Wait, where are we? Wait, what? They're back. It's Wiz Lord D. Tizenator. Wait, we're still in your, in your house, but... What, what, we're, yeah. Wait. Why is my... Did we just shrink? I think so, man. Well, that's awfully convenient, uh... Because the movie we were going to talk about is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's right. So who shrunk us? Your camera? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Now that you mention about it, it kind of looks more like Rick Moranis' uh, character's uh, shrink ray. Oh, that's kind of weird. Thank goodness the microphone manages to hear us anyways. Yes. So. Hmm. So I wonder will this wear off? <laughs> well, I hope so. I don't want to stay small forever, man. Do you? No! <laughs> right, well, while we're small, let's review Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, so, uh, this movie, so you picked this out at a video store. A big video store. It did. Should I say the name or no? HMV? Yes, HMV. <laughs> I don't think there's <laughs> any copyright with that. No. But, uh, yeah, so this movie, uh... Yeah, this is one of the movies that we, that we decided to, to watch today. There was, like, three choices. Mm-hmm. Honey, I Shrunk yes, the were. Kids. Three Ninjas or Dick Tracy, and uh, this one seemed appropriate. I mean, Rick Moranis is Canadian, and today is Canada Day, so why not? Do some Canadian content. And with the Ghostbusters new movie coming out. Yeah, that is true. Uh, there, Rick Moranis is also in Ghostbusters. Yeah. But yeah, so... Uh, so this film. Uh, did you it, like this film? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I grew up with this when it came out back in 1989. And uh, it, was a, it was a comedy mixed with some adventure and some drama at the same time. Uh, a lot of things going on, a lot of interesting i guess it's an interesting world where you're, you're shrunk and you're going interesting in... perspective yeah that's that's the word you're going into your own backyard but it's completely different now you're small and you're dealing with nature you're dealing with and everything insects. is so much bigger than <laughs> lawnmowers you. yeah so uh uh i've never seen honey i shrunk the kids in its entirety i've seen it when it was being demoed at i think walmart okay. back then uh i only saw the part where where, um, there shouldn't be any spoilers. Uh, they get attacked by an insect and they had to fight it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's even not spoilers, is the way I described it. But yeah, I've only seen bits of it, but not all of it. And apparently, the part I was thinking about where they're on a roller coaster, the, that might have been in the sequel. Uh, yeah. I, I think, I think it's so. It's possible, yeah. Or something like that. But yeah, uh, now I get to see it in its entirety. I gotta say, it's weird that it's a Disney movie, because it. And in some ways, I guess it's magical, like a Disney movie, but at the yeah. same time... At the same time, it doesn't feel like a Disney movie. It just feels like a family movie, which it is. Yeah. yeah but seeing it in its entirety, uh, I enjoyed it. it. It felt very short. This movie was 93 minutes long. Yes, yeah, as short as, as we are right now. God damn it. <laughs> I this... Yes. <laughs> but somehow we'll, we'll find a way back, guys. I but promise. you know what? But you know what? It felt even shorter. It felt like thirty minutes. It did. It went pretty, pretty. Uh, I mean, it goes at a good pace, and there's always something going on, and uh, there's a family drama at hand. Obviously, the, the children want to find their their homes, even though they're they're pretty much right there. But they, you know, they have a longer the way. The so close yet so far comes <laughs> to mind. Was it three point five miles? Apparently, in 3. their two miles in their uh, perspective. In their perspective yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, overall, I think it's a fun movie, honestly. It's, uh, there is a moral behind it as well. Yep, uh, it, and this is also another case where it's like when we were talk, trying to talk about The Mask, it's a good movie, and it's kind of this... It's hard to talk about it, because you can't quite pick it apart, because especially if you enjoyed it. I mean, there were certain parts, like uh, one point where, what was it, not Wayne, uh, Nikki like, was getting sucked into the lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No big surprise. And you could see the wires in the background, and I was like, that kind of killed a few things. Oh, you know yeah. what? There were a few other things in the movie where it was like uh, our suspension of disbelief, or whatever it was like. We're just like, nah, nah, that wouldn't... Yeah, the scorpion was the one thing that we couldn't understand. Like That always bothered in me. In a backyard, right? It's really hard, uh, rare to find a scorpion. Because two things. Uh, one, if I had a scorpion in my backyard, that's one dead scorpion. <laughs> and two, if there were scorpions in my backyard, I'd be like, oh shit. It's pretty freaky, yeah. But, I would not. Well, we don't get scorpions in Canada. Yeah. On Canada Day, especially. Yes. Yeah. So I thought the movie took place in Texas. Does it take place in Texas? I don't know. It said they're, they're, the street they lived on was Sycamore, right? Yes, yeah, Sycamore. But I don't know what uh, city or state that's in. But... Some kind of Sycamore. Yeah. 
some place <laughs> where there's scorpion there. But uh, I think the, the special effects are pretty good for 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 its time. time. Yeah, like uh, uh, it's it's meant to like just show the idea of it. Like you, you can clearly tell, like when they got shrunk and, <laughs> yeah. and like when they were fixed, you could tell they rotoscoped or did something in the back. Yeah, for it, but. It was like, you know, they're trying to get an idea across. We get it. it, it we'll let it pass, especially for the time. And it's actually still kind of impressive, too. Yeah, the B scene was pretty cool. Better than uh, the RoboCop 3 <laughs> Jet scene. Yeah, it's true. It even looks uh, like the same, but the B one at least had imagination to it. Do you think the uh, the Cheerios, you know, or the uh, Wayne Stilinski is eating the Cheerios and his son's in there, but he doesn't see him yet? Do you think that, that was a pretty cool cool moment? I think that was pretty cool first time. Uh, uh interesting. Uh, product well, placement wise, that's probably one of the most memorable product placements. It was a th that was the thing during that too. Like he dis like it's a frame where he disappears, like it's just like I guess he got sunk under wall under uh, the, the milk. milk. Yeah. And, oh yeah, <laughs> now that you bring it up, the the shrinking really bothered me. Like you know when yeah. the first time they shrunk they went to like this nail next to it? If you dropped the nail on the floor, I would see that. Yeah. And like but they were smaller than that, apparently. No, apparently. And smaller but, than an ant, too, right? Because the ant was bigger than them, too. Yeah, so, so. that, so that, what really, what bothered <laughs> me is about some of the belief, uh, the disbelief and believability, like that nail I was talking about. If you threw a nail on the floor and I, you know, try to look at it, you would just see it. But the kids were, like, about Even. the size of the nail, so, like, the size consistency was just really yeah, just... Yeah, it was a little bit off. It was bothered, <laughs> it, it bothered me a little bit. They would have to be even smaller, but that would make... To make it so that they can't see it, but if they're too small, the movie would take even longer to go through the yard. Which, in that case, they would be smaller than the ant. Yeah. And about the same size, too. So, there, there were bits that bugged me enough, but I didn't let it get in the way of the enjoyment of the overall message of the movie, or just the fun of it all, where they try to go through the backyard. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, they wanted, uh, they were trying to show their, you know, there was a lack of communication between the families. Yeah, with like the Thompson family, yeah, and, where the and, father and, thinks he knows everything, but he, yeah, he's not. Like he wants his son to be like him and everything. And then you you mentioned the, the part where, you know, Wayne Zelinsky is on the grass and he's not he's not calling their names, which it, which would have made it easier maybe oh, to find them, right? That is another thing. Like yeah. there were so many solutions to solve this like predicament well, yeah. for them, aside from the size thing. Like let's say he really didn't see them and threw them out because it was like when they were in the grass in the yard. I was I was telling you like if I was his dad I'd be in like a communicator. Hey kids, if you can hear me, I'm gonna put this thing somewhere like in the middle yeah. like where that stone is because well they're kids they obviously they would know their own backyards. It's like so get there as soon as you can and I'll come back in uh, <laughs> two hours or something, and then I'll pick you up and then I'll fix everything. Yeah. But no, they're just like uh, boop, 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 all around and. I think they're just trying to show that, yeah, there was a lack of communication. Uh, I think when his wife came along, then they started calling their names. Was that it made it a little bit different? Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, they're trying to say that uh, families are important and you do have to put time in. You can't uh, be preoc preoccupied all the with time. Your with, ideal, like with, with your own ideal, yeah. like with the dad, where it's like, yeah. uh, I want you to be on the football team. We're going <laughs> to go fishing. We're going to have fun. So yeah. he's shoving his ideals on someone. On, on especially his own son, and his son doesn't want to be, he just wants to do his own thing. Even yeah. though at some point, like, it, he, he's kind of like a, not like a, a prick, but kind of like, just like, oh, you lazy son of a bee. Yeah, there, I mean, they did hint at the laziness, too. Like you mentioned, uh, Nikki, he's trying to get the, the, his friend to cut the grass for him. Oh, yeah, that's And that too. almost backfires. That, the consequences <laughs> of that was, like, they almost got chopped up yeah, later <laughs> on. So it's like, uh, don't skip on... Uh, your responsibilities. Yes, you have to be responsible. <laughs> well, I don't know what else can we say, man. We're trying to. Uh, effects were good. The the actors were, uh, you know, they were they were, okay. they were, they were, were nice. They're in actors. characters. I don't know if they came back in any other films, did they? Uh, you, you said not in the other, not in the sequel. Not in the no, sequel. No. Uh, Rick Moranis is yeah, pretty great. Back. Although compared to all the other stuff I've seen, Rick Moranis in like the Ghostbusters, uh, what was it? What was that Star Wars parody? Uh, Spaceballs. Oh, Spaceballs, Balls, yeah. Uh, Flintstone. <laughs> this one, he seems a little tame. Still quirky, but kind of weird. Oh, God. The dog's name is called Quark. 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 <laughs> and I was playing Virtue's Last Reward, where a character's name is called Quark. Yeah. Which is me. Which is relevant to the movie, because Quark is, like, the smallest matter in the universe. And I was just like... <sighs> well, it's good. It was, yeah, it was good that you re remember that. Oh, my God. Watch out for that ant! Oh, no. Damn it. Was that it? 
No. No, well, thankfully, uh... Remind me to kill that end when we get back to regular size. Okay, but, yes, we'll do. We have to figure a way out, out of here, man. What yeah, do? I know. By the way, that ant scene was, uh... While it was touching, I was like, Really? They, they befriended an ant? That's just a little too Disney magic right there. But, I... Mm. Well, I guess... This movie can bother you on another level. But the overall, like, uh... You know, it's an enjoyable movie. Would you recommend the movie? Yeah, if you want to have a, g a good time, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun movie. Uh, but obviously, yeah, you do have to sus suspend your, your disbelief. disbelief for this film. There are some moments that don't really make sense, but hey, most movies are like that. <laughs> yeah, like comic book movies. <laughs> yeah, comic book movies. Like... Okay, uh, I would also recommend it too, but I would only watch it like once in a while. I don't really see myself watching it again, because now it's like you learn the character, you know, the character's all... Are all friends at the end? I don't want to see them go through the whole argument and through the events again because like, that just feels a little repetitive. Like I'd watch it again if I had like kids or like people who didn't watch it, and like uh, I, I would do that. But other than that, I do recommend watching it at least once in your life. It's a pretty fun movie. Yes, it is. And uh, just to mention, at one point they actually had a, a kind of like a theme park at Disney World for this um, film. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, Walt the, Disney. Yeah, the Honey I Shrunk the Kid. Uh, set there i remember i think i was seven at the time and they had the the b in one section i think that they ant, and you could actually yeah you could you could see it and uh bugs life you know, <laughs> so it's kind of cool that they had some of the sets there at disney world then well, i mean it, was, it is made by disney so yeah, i guess you'd expect that back in the day but yeah. all right well we have to get out of here man speaking of disney world how are we gonna get out of, out of this this predicament man it's not, well it's not good you remember that thing where they're talking about a moon now we just need to have a wishing star and hope someone saves us. Like in Pinocchio? Yeah, it's like if you wish up on a shooting star. If I wish... <laughs> if I, I wish up on a star, star Make us big <laughs> I don't know. Then... Uh, do you want to say... Actually, do you want to say anything about the DVD? Now that I think about it, the DVD you got was kind of pathetic. Yes, it was very bare bones. I think they shrunk the content. There's no, there's no French um, option. Even though they talk about French class, that that, that pun keeps coming back in this film. Because he he's one of the kids saves a uh, his sister saves his sister, and then Russ. Yeah, Russ was it Russ. Russ saves the big the girl, uh, Nick's big big sister. Yeah, and he well, I guess he was saying he learned it in French class because you know. French kiss, I guess. That's what I was thinking. That's probably too. what he's thinking. But yeah, your yeah, DVD content is really, pretty... really small. Yeah, it no... just has subtitles, which aren't even that good. Nah. Most of the time it is. And you know what? They didn't even call it subtitles. They called it English captions for the hearing impaired. Yeah. I feel like, why can't you just say subtitles? Speaking of which, people are going to have a hard time hearing us right now. Yeah, well. Give uh... small <laughs> Hopefully, some way I will find a way to edit this. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to jump on the keyboard a bunch of times. Yes. But yeah, go check out Honey and uh, Shrunk the Kids if you haven't seen it yet. What he said. But the uh, promise will be back, and yes, we'll be back. Uh, bigger, Somehow. Bigger, better, faster, whatever, stronger. Whatever, yes. Alright, guys. Face, we'll be back. Okay. How are we gonna get down here? What do you gotta eat? How are we gonna eat it? That's the thing. It's gonna be a huge. Whatever we're gonna eat now. Well, we're not starving for a while. Hey, let's go get that sub sandwich I was eating earlier. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. Uh, hey, let's get down through the wa through my uh, microphone's wire. At least we'll get close to getting down. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. And, and we got down through my camera wire, and then we can use my PlayStation controller to get up to the sandwich. And then uh, we'll figure out something there. Hey, Canadian Dry! Now we just need to puncture a hole into it. Actually, I don't think so. We just need to knock it over and then drink the droplets. Yeah, good idea. Let's do it. <laughs>